Two Japs, one meth head, and a guy that barely weighs a hundred pounds. It can only be one company. Of course, it's AEW. It's all it. It's a fatal four-way match for the Continental Championship. And I gave zero absolute fucks about this match. That is it. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking it, That's, pr that's, that's probably... Next time, guys. <laughs> well, no. Uh, all right. Okada wins. I mean, he hits the... He hit, what's his clothesline called again? It's like the deadliest... Rainmaker? You know, but like, see when he came in, they were, I remember hearing a lot about the Rainmaker, and I'm thinking, wow, this must be a big move. And then, and then I remember seeing it one day, and I, I checked out, and it's like, it's basically a clothesline where he just drags you into the clothesline, He's getting no real momentum, no philosophy behind it. I mean, he's not an overly big guy. It worked for Bradshaw, but Bradshaw was also bouncing off the ropes and taking your fucking head off. Plus, Bradshaw was like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, 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 pushing 300 pounds. I mean, come on. I think, uh, I actually think Akada going to AEW is the worst thing he could have done for his career. Because it's actually made me realise who he is, and who he is. is yeah, see, before job. he went there, I remember before oh, Akada, he must be, oh, he's that guy for Japan. I've heard a lot of good things about him. Right. You know, I reckon, that's, I reckon you could apply that logic to everybody in AEW. Yep. To a degree, yeah, I think you could, yeah. Oh, well, the only thing is, I actually never heard of Take a Shit until he joined. Yeah. I heard of Okada. But yeah, I mean, look at, look at all these Japanese guys that have come in. Ishii, Tanahashi, what have they done? Oh, Shampoo. Dave Meltzer, oh. I feel like spraying shampoo in my eyes, so I don't have to watch the rest of this. But yeah, um, you no, know, you know what, man? Mark Briscoe, as much as he does look like a legit meth head, I don't even think he stands out that much. And I, I don't, by that, I mean, I don't think he stands out like he doesn't belong here. I actually think it's cool to see someone like Mark Briscoe because... Like, I'm not a big fan of wrestling where everyone's, like, you know, got the perfect body now and the, the trunks. And I think Mark Briscoe would kind of remind you of an Attitude Era guy when he comes out with, you know, like, not non traditional wrestling. He wrestles gear. like fucking Road Dog. Yeah, but I've no issue with Mark Briscoe. Uh, he's probably one of my more favourite guys on the roster. I don't want everybody to come out in trunks and Aye. be a great technical wrestler. No, absolutely not. Fuck that. But the one guy that actually doesn't belong in this match is Orange Cassidy. See how small he is in comparison to everyone else? That's perfect. He went for a suplex on, on Take a Shitter, like, and, and he made Take a Shitter look like Big Show. Well, well, it's the shit show. So, yeah, um, I, I just can't... Look at his skinny little arms, man. I know. And Jericho lost a feud to this guy. That was four years ago, by the way. No wonder Jericho's tanked in it. Yo, is that not kind of when, when he... Is that not when Jericho just went downhill? Yep. I think a loss to this guy four, would do four that Four years to ago? You. Four fucking year ago. Mental. Anyway. That's it. Way to enjoy the CEO versus another Jap that I don't know the name of. Akira Shida. That's the one we're looking for. Till next time, peace.